Got a house by the airport, and there's a girl looks after me when troubles come my way. She soothes my mind, long caring hands sharing me alongside all my ghosts. The wild songs they play still sound so fine. Hey, listen, man. I got a phone call from Ginger saying, you know, we're down at the studio, we know you can write, we need some help with this. And, and then, uh, but then it became evident that Jack and I had a chemistry. And then we wrote uh, I Feel Free, which was a big hit, so everyone went, OK, well, that's the team, let's, let's let that, let them, let it, ro let it roll. <laughs> Walk down the street, there's no one there, though the pavement's a wondrous crowd. I can drive down the road, my eyes don't see, though my mind wants to cry out loud. Although my mind wants to cry out loud. As you know, Cream were, were on the road all the time. And so there was very little time to work on those songs, yeah. And then, but we managed somehow to do enough, you know, and we got the big hits with Sunshine and White Room and everything. And so that kind of uh, established even further uh, the, the songwriting team of Jack and myself. Jack had more or less the music for White Room, and we tried a few different ideas of lyrics, and none of them worked, you know. And then I thought about this poem that I had, and it was an eight-page poem, and I thought, okay, well, if I cut that down to one page, it might be the right thing for it. I didn't live anywhere for a while before I started. While I was beginning to write songs, I was semi-homeless. Anyway, I finally found a white room in, in a, in, in a uh, flat. Um, and so I was in the white room. I had no, there was nothing in there except a bed and, and a chair. I mean, and that's where uh, I stopped. I got straight. I, I stopped drinking and taking drugs and everything. I got straight. Uh, and beginning to be a songwriter rather than just an itinerant poet. The song is about that turning point. You said no I, it's very funny because for many, many years, uh, because I was so much in awe of Jack as a musician, then um, I would make no attempt to sing any of those songs. You know, I was like, fuck it, I'm not good enough. And then I suddenly thought, okay, I wrote those songs as well, you know, and, and I thought, yeah, it's kind of about time I started singing some of these songs. And it's funny because now I'm, I'm, 
I'm singing, I'm very happy with how I'm singing. And, and I'm 77, for Christ's sake. White room, as I say, I, I sing it. Uh, I'm quite happy to sing it because it, I still feel it's relevant, you know. I, I don't, it doesn't belong to any particular time, it's just a song that worked. It's got, I think for the public, it's interesting still because it's got a mystery to it. It's not an obvious thing.